Baseball season, it's almost here. We are extremely excited. The Albuquerque Isotopes will begin on April 5th on the road. First home game is April 10th. Isotopes are here in spring training. Scottsdale, Arizona, Josh Sushan alongside Noel Cuevas, outfielder from the Rockies organization. You saw him last year at Isotopes Park. He represented the Topes at the AAA All-Star Game. Had one of, if not the best seasons of his career. He's happy to join us here. So Noel, I want to get to what happened in Puerto Rico in a moment, but let's start off by talking about some baseball and what last season meant for you in your career. Oh, it was a, uh, it was growth. Everything about last season was growth uh, with every, every aspect of my game. Um, I grew as an offensive player and I grew as a defensive player and mentally I was able to take my game to another level, mm -hmm. which is why I believe that I had the season that I ended up having in, in AAA. You mentioned mentally. One of the things that I noticed is that when you got to two strikes, the at-bat was not over. The number of hits that you got with two strikes, how much is that a mental thing? Uh, it's, it, it's something that I've always, uh, ever since I signed, it's been preached, uh, having a great two-strike approach. Mm -hmm. And I just never gave up. I never gave up. Uh, I was able to foul some pitches here and there, and they make the mistake. And that's when I was able to put a good swing on the baseball. And I ended up having good results out of that. Growth is the word that you used for last year. What type of growth are you hoping to get out of the 2018 season? Uh, you continue to build. Continue to build on what I did last year. Um, I think that I can cut down on, strike, on strikeouts and more walks. Uh, I, I saw that here in, in, in big league camp. I was able to take some, some pitches that last year I would have swung at or, or offered more to. And uh, I believe that the approach that I'm going to take to the home plate this year is going gonna, is gonna to show the difference. So when you're in big league clubhouse this spring and Nolan Arnato and Charlie Blackman and DJ LeMahieu and these guys who have been all-stars, is there anybody in particular that you watch their swing, you watch their habits that you can see if you can learn some things from them? All, all the names that you mentioned, they, they are really good at what they do. I make sure that I watch everybody. Everybody's a bat. It doesn't matter if they're lefty or righty. Arenado obviously is a righty that I'm always going to be watching because he's really good at what he does. And one of the reasons that he's really good is because he's got a great approach, he's aggressive, and when he gets a mistake, he doesn't miss it. And that's exactly what I'm striving for. Every mistake that I see, I need to capitalize and, and make them pay for that. You're wearing Rockies clothing right now, a few times this year, four times to be specific. The Isotopes will be wearing Mariachis de Nuevo Mexico clothing. Hopefully for your sake, you're in Denver and you're not with us, but I want to get the player's perspective on this hat, this logo, what do you think? This is, when I first saw it on the internet, I was like, wow, this is really cool. Uh, I dig it, I dig it, man. I think it's gonna look great on us and I think it's gonna be a night to remember the first time that we use it. You said that we're gonna use it four times. I think we're gonna want it more than four <laughs> times. Yeah. Well, let John Traub know that the players want it more than four <laughs> times. Describe what it's like playing a baseball game in Puerto Rico in terms of the atmosphere in the stands and how people are into it. I, I wish that there were more fans that came out to the games in Puerto Rico. Uh, the, the, the level of baseball that, that, that we can offer to the island, mm -hmm. it, it's, it's pretty high. We're, we're seeing it with the guys that are getting to the big leagues now and have been in the big leagues for a couple of years, like Lindor, like Baez. Baez even played in, in Puerto Rico a couple of years ago before he's now a regular for the Cubs. And we have a, a bunch of other guys that are that have a little bit of big league time because they just got to the big leagues or are almost there, and they're all playing in, in Puerto Rico. Mm -hmm. The fans, they, they know they know who's playing. Uh, I, I know it's a, it's a rough time right now for every single sport in Puerto Rico. Mm -hmm. Uh, probably is not the priority at this time for for most people but as long as we can bring joy to the island and we're playing there and we're showing them hey doesn't matter what happened we are gonna be here for you guys uh, we're gonna put on a show for you guys whoever wants to come they're always welcome to come and watch us play because I mean it, it's high it's it's high-level baseball it was devastating what happened in September. Four straight hurricanes and then Hurricane Maria, the fourth one, um, did the number on your country. How is the morale right now and how are things for your family and your fellow citizens back in Puerto Rico? My, my family is good, uh, thankfully. Uh, we are in a fortunate position to be able to help out others. It was, it was rough. It was rough there for, for about a month. We had no energy. 
uh, no power, no gas, almost uh, there was food shortage. For the first time in my life, I didn't know if I was going to be able to drink water uh, for that day. So it was, it was, it, it, it was rough. It was rough. I, I, it's the first time that I ever find myself in that situation, and it, I grew from that too. It was, a, it was a great experience, and I'm going to cherish it, and I'm going to learn from it, and all this stuff that happened. Now I think he's going to help us be more prepared for for another one. Uh, hopefully we never get another right. one, but we're going to be more prepared. I feel like. But the cleanup continues. I mean, this is going to. I mean, there's still some people who don't have power, right? I mean, this cleanup is going to take years for to rebuild things and and to get the. I mean, it, I don't know if the island's ever going to be the same after what happened. Well, the the power infrastructure was bad before the hurricane hit. This just showed how bad it was. Mm -hmm. It's going to take a long time. Uh, I, I want to think that they're taking the right steps into building uh, a more secure, more powerful power grid. But it's going to take some time. And a lot of people are going to need a lot of patience. And while that happens, whoever can help needs to just keep helping until everybody gets the power back. For people who are watching in Albuquerque, and this is going to be on social media, so it goes all around the world, what should people know? I mean, these are United States citizens. These are our citizens. What What do you want people to know about Puerto Rico, the island, and maybe what they can do to help, or just what should they know? I, I mean, it's a beautiful island, and we are U.S. citizens. Um, it's a great tourist place. I was about to say, how much can tourism dollars help when people are thinking about where they want to go vacation? A lot. Uh, tourism is, I think, the number one source of income for the island right now. Um, anybody that can go to Puerto Rico, hey, go ahead. It's paradise, man. Yeah. It doesn't matter what happened. The hurricane happened about six, six and a half months ago. But say, old San Juan is beautiful. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot of hotels that are open. Uh, beaches are beautiful. So, I mean, if you have the chance, you, you don't think about it twice. Go to Puerto Rico. You're going to enjoy it. All right, Noel, we enjoyed having you with the Isotopes last year. However long you're with us this year, we're glad that you're going to be with us because when you're in the lineup, we know that we got a dude who can hit, who can run, who can catch, who can throw. So thank you for joining us. Thanks for letting us know about your country, and we look forward to seeing you at Isotopes yeah. Park. Thank you for having me. I'm excited. Again, opening day is April 5th at Salt Lake, and the Isotopes home opener is April 10th. Get your tickets. Come join us. Green chili cheeseburgers are coming back. The mariachis for four nights. Noel already said that he wants more than just four because he loves this logo so much. Isotopes Baseball, we appreciate you watching. We'll talk to you soon.